Good morning. Everyone. <laughs> this place is magical. Another sunny day. It's yeah. perfect. I'll tell you one thing that feels magical to me. So I've had this cold for like five days, right? I wake up this morning and we're like still inside because you know we're sleeping. We just woke up. And um, I, you know, you know that feeling where you wake up with a cold and you're all stuffed up and you feel like it's hard to open your eyes and you're all your face feels all swollen and you're sniffling and drooling and it's just gross, right? So classic symptoms, right? Then we step outside. Within five minutes of getting access to the fresh air here, I feel healthy. Yeah, apparently the air quality here is like one of the best in the world. Mm -hmm. um, and you definitely like can smell a difference. Like it just smells fresh. But uh, yeah. yeah, we're on our way. <clears throat> We're on our way to Kotor right now. It's about an hour walk from where we're staying, and the weather's perfect to walk. So. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. we're uh, today. It's a high of a crisp, dry, twenty degrees Celsius, and uh, yeah, just the vibes of this town. It's so different from where we were in Belgrade. We noticed. Yeah, it's, it's like a night and day difference. Just in terms of the energy you feel here, it's kind of like. Like, we know why people come here, it's to chill. Yeah, it's right? very laid back, very like beach town. Yeah. It's right on the sea, so... I think yeah. it's it's interesting because like Belgrade, you go outside and you're like, okay, what do we want to do next? Yeah. Right? There's like, like, what's the next activity? What's the next place we want to go to? Whereas here, it's most like, I think I could sit and stick my toes in the water for a little while. Yeah, we, uh, we like tested out the temperature of the, like the bay. And it seems like kind of perfect for swimming. Like it'll obviously be cold, but um, it is the Mediterranean after all, right? Yeah, exactly. So we're hoping to go swimming soon. <laughs> yeah, maybe today, yeah. maybe tomorrow, but it's definitely got to happen soon for sure. Yeah. And the good news is, right, is we're here until mid-May, mm -hmm. and so the longer we stay, the warmer that water is going to get. Yeah. You know, because it's only the spring right now. Yeah, exactly. It's so cool. But look at the mountains in the background. Isn't yeah. that crazy? <laughs> Yeah, the oh mountains my are God. beautiful. Kind of like even like a little intimidating at night. Like at night, you can just see like the past of the mountains. Yeah, yeah. it was cool. We were walking home last night, right? And those mountains right there were like just a dark black shadow. And then like you thought the night sky was dark, but you look at the night sky and it's you realize it's just a really deep purple. Yeah. But it's a clearly defined line across the top of the mountain. It's so cool. Yeah, we were saying it almost feels like we're living in a bowl. With yeah. With like balls on all sides. Yeah, because look, there's mountains 360 degrees. Yeah. Even behind this building as well. But it's like, it's cool. Like, um, the sun rises, right? And uh, you don't actually get sunlight until something like 10 a.m. because yeah. Because there's a giant mountain right here that's in the way. It's so funny. So cool. Yeah, we also noticed so like in Dobrota where we're staying, there are a bunch of docks and we checked with somebody who lives here and they are privately owned, but most of the owners don't mind if people use them to like swim or you know sunbathe, whatever. Mm -hmm. So that's good news for us Absolutely. because <laughs> we'll definitely be taking advantage of going swimming and enjoying the sea. Yeah. It's so nice because these towns, right? Um, they're so they're kind of stretched across the uh, the waterfront. And so, you know, there's not really anything that's far from the water. Like the furthest mm. you get from the water is like a hundred meters away well, max. Well, yeah, there are three streets pretty much parallel to the, to the sea. There's mm -hmm. the first way, the second way, and the third way. So we're currently right. on the first way right now. Yeah. And then up the hill slightly, like two houses down, is the second way. Mm -hmm. And then two houses beyond that is the third way. And that's yeah. the whole town. And then the mountain starts. So. Yeah. And I'm sure there are things on the mountain too, but <laughs> the main town, like along the sea, is uh, just three streets. Mm -hmm. So most of everything is just right on the water. So cool. It's very nice. But yeah, we got a lot of walking to do. Trying yeah. to get in the center. Of we want to get to the walled part because the walled part of the city we heard is completely car free. And I think yes. it's the oldest part of town, probably. I th well, yeah, yeah, I think so. Like that's the city center, yeah. Yeah. We're thinking, <laughs> just to put it out there, we're planning on possibly renting bikes for the time that we're here. Yeah. And so if anyone happens to know a good place where we can get a good deal, let us know. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. Because where we're staying is kind of in the outskirts a little bit. Mm. And so to get anywhere, even to do groceries, 
what is it, like a half hour walk? Yeah, yeah, which is not that bad, but we'd like to go explore the whole bay. Yeah. And so it would be really nice to do that with bikes. Yeah, and also because we're working on weekdays, we'd love to maximize the time we do have. And so if we're able to get to cool places, like the other side of the bay, yeah. much quicker with bikes, then we'd love to do so, you know? But, uh, all right, off we go. I guess we'll see you guys in Kotor. <laughs> see you in Kotor. <laughs> We're here getting coffee. <laughs> uh, I don't think either of us know how to pronounce that, yeah. but... <laughs> um, the Wi-Fi is do doimi, so maybe that's how you say it, doimi? Doimi? Maybe. Um, <laughs> while we're here, we're going to get some coffee. Uh, we're, we've reached Kotor now, yeah. um, and we're going to try and head into the walled city soon. Which is just behind those walls right there. But uh, Ryle is telling me it's supposed to look uh, super medieval inside. Yeah, that's what I've heard. And it's also a UNESCO heritage site. The, the whole city. city. That's crazy, eh? Yeah, but we're going to get our uh, fancy coffee and uh, we're going to enjoy the spectacular view. I mean, can't get enough of it. It's going crazy. And then we're going to check it out. Yeah. All right, so I got my cappuccino and Nick got an iced coffee. So apparently their iced coffee at this restaurant instead of using ice they use ice cream yeah so. so i think this is like espresso ice cream chocolate and cream so. it just looks i'm so excited <laughs> it'll give us very lots of energy for the day Absolutely. um and then the tap water so the tap water here is kind of controversial like some people say it's safe to drink some people say it's not um what we've heard like the general consensus is that it's usually safe um but it may have some contaminants after heavy rainfall so I think we're just gonna risk it. Um, if we get yeah. sick, we get sick. Yeah, like I, um, I was thinking like, okay, they say that the locals don't have problems with the tap water usually, like with drinking it. Um, and then sometimes uh, newcomers will get sick. So maybe what it is, is that we just have to adapt to the bacteria inside yeah. or whatever, if there is any. <laughs> yeah, um, right now we've been drinking like a mix of bottled water and tap water to maybe ease into it. Yeah, and we, we haven't gotten sick or any, nothing bad's happened so far. And, we, and I had a couple glasses of it last night. Yeah, um, so, so we'll probably just um, we'll probably just watch out when it rains. But other than that, tap water it is. We, uh, we looked up uh, some ways to see, like, at what, like to test whether it's, it might be bad for us. Uh, see if it smells funny, if it looks funny, if anything settles whenever you leave a glass of it on the table. Uh, see if it tastes metallic or... Like, like fishy, that. I think. Yeah. yeah, or fishy. Yeah, and it, it seems like perfectly normal tap water. Uh, so I don't know. Fingers crossed, we don't have any future problems. Yeah, right not now, going. I feel great. <laughs> So here's a map of the whole city of Couture. We are here, is it? I think so. Anyways, we're standing right at the entrance of the great staircase that goes all the way up through here in zigzags. And then it keeps going, keeps going up the mountain, up the mountain, up the mountain, all the way up to the fortress at the top. And hopefully it can go even higher, but it just goes straight up the mountain and we're gonna get a really cool view. We're not gonna do it today, but we're gonna do it very soon. And uh, I, for one, am extremely excited. So check out these steps. We found some more, it's a very vertical kind of city, right? But you can tell they're old because the steps are worn down in the middle from, what, hundreds of years, thousands of years of people walking up and down them? That's so cool.
is a garbage door that people use to throw garbage into the sea. Look at that. So, we've come a long way, thankfully. Yeah. There's a road there now, but I'm assuming that's where the water line was at the time. That's funny though, because it looks just like a, like a port where you'd like defend with arrows and yeah. stuff. So we've noticed that Couture definitely loves their cats. They even have a cat museum. And all of their uh, all their gift shops are full of like cat related little trinkets and stuff like yeah. that. And it is, I've never been happier. Yeah, this is definitely the most cats I've ever seen in a day. So this is a jumper square. I think this might be the first playground I've ever seen with a trampoline. <laughs> <Careful>. <laughs> <laughs> so we're holding our drinks like this because it's so windy. <laughs> like, look, look at how you're doing it. <laughs> it's like... As you can see, we're right on the sea, like right on the sea. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's really cool to be able to like eat so close to the water. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful views. The only bad thing is like it will get crazy gusts of wind that will like blow our menus off the floor. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're excited. This is our first full meal in Montenegro. So far we've just been having like snacks. Um, yeah, and I, I, I think it's getting to us because like on our way here we're starting to feel a little dizzy and faint. Yeah. So this is very well needed. Yeah, I got um, some local wine and the fish soup. And Nick got a summer's feet and and a, um, and a meat platter for two. Yeah, two. <laughs> so I feel like that'll definitely take care of the hunger. Fingers crossed, at least. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, today's pretty chill. We, something we noticed is we didn't um, go through the whole fortress or the whole like walled city, but we did notice that everything inside the walls was super super expensive in terms of like restaurants and. Um, like yeah, like, like for example, the restaurant that we're sitting at right now, it's I think less than half price of the average restaurant. Yeah, we're um, just outside. It's like a, it's like a three minute walk from the walls. Yeah. So very close. So I think this is still a very like touristy restaurant and it's still pretty expensive, um, but like pretty much half the prices of everything we saw in the walls. Yeah. Um, Inside it was interesting. It was like a combination of gift shops, uh, expensive restaurants. And, and various churches that were all very interesting. Like, I don't know, it's just so cool in there. It's beautiful inside, very like medieval looking. But, like the walls were very like narrow. narrow. Yeah, all the streets were like old school, like before cars and horses yeah. were allowed in like ever a thing. Or I guess not before horses, that's stupid, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> before people were born, but. But so many cats, oh my gosh. So we moved places because it was so windy that our glasses were all spilling over. Yeah. Like we let go of it for one second and then it's on the floor, so. Yeah. My fish soup came. Our next meat platter is still taking some time to come out. I think it's going to be so big. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, but the soup smells amazing. You can see like all the pieces of fish inside. And it oh, came with wow. a lemon. Here. <laughs> it's just a pile of meat. Yep, that's the way I like it. Hopefully it's enough, you know? We saw this uh, plant and we saw these weird, uh, I guess they're fruit on it. Um, Ryan thinks they're figs, but we're wondering what you guys think. But look, they're growing all over it. They're everywhere. It looks like they have a ways to go before they're fully ripe, but pretty cool. All right, so it's been a nice day. Um, again, we didn't actually film too much of it because we were swimming. And um, napping. And napping. <laughs> 
Yeah, we uh, went for a swim. It was pretty cold. I'm glad we didn't get this on video because I kind of fell into the sea. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, like we found out that the steps on the docks are really slippery. Uh, luckily, like nobody got injured, but <laughs> it, you <laughs> it was got close. Funny. Yeah, you got yeah. a little bit of a close call. <laughs> it's kind but, of yeah. funny. I, uh, yeah. it, it's funny because Rylan, um, she stepped down onto a really slippery step. We didn't know it was slippery, but I was mid sentence saying, <laughs> "Watch your step." <laughs> and then, and then it was, whoop! It's kind of like a cartoon where it's like they're slipping, 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 but not actually falling. Yeah. Um, but I did fall in, which is kind of nice. Like I'd rather just fall all in than have to like step in one step at a time in the cold water. Yeah. But it wasn't that bad. Like it wasn't as cold as I expected. Yeah, I'm just glad you didn't get hurt. You know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyway, it was really nice, beautiful weather today. And we are headed to dinner. Mm -hmm. uh, my parents treated us for Easter dinner today. So thank you, Mom and Dad. Thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just going to actually go north into like further away from Kotor mm -hmm. to see what's out there in terms of restaurants and see if we can find something nice. Yeah. And perfect timing. Oh. I saw a cat, but he ran off. So yeah. <laughs> whatever. But... A lot of, we see a lot of those here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's go eat. <laughs> <laughs> let's go eat. Um, yeah, they're uh, supposed to be famous for their seafood. For mm. specifically, what is it? Shrimp and squid? Shrimp and squid is what we've heard, right. yeah. So, so I think I might get something squiddy. Yeah, you'll get something shrimpy. Perfect, and we can share. Yeah. All right, let's look let's around. walked for a while and we came across this restaurant and it looked really good but they only serve pizza so we're having pizza <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but at least one of the pizzas we're getting is with tuna so some seafood but yeah we're at uh, Premier that's what it's called mm -hmm. we're sitting right on the water pretty nice. cool eh? right there yeah They've got some lilacs growing here, and you can just like smell it really strongly. Yeah, here, let's. It's gonna be really hard to see, but it's right. Oh, yeah, that looks great. They smell amazing. Yeah, it's a, the whole restaurant smells really nice. You also get the fresh air from the water. Um, yeah, we're feeling good and excited to eat. It's a great feeling, eh? Yeah. yeah. So fun little tidbit. Uh, we uh, we ordered our pizzas, and they're at a very fair price, you know, for for like, like the look. Euro, like Thir Thirteen to fifteen euro. It's a very yeah. nice location, everything. And so we ordered water because we're gonna need something to drink, right? And this bottle of water was seven euros. <laughs> We yeah. had we didn't know until after we ordered it. Yeah, we assumed it would be like three or four, but and I'm pretty sure people here don't give you tap water at restaurants just because some people can handle it, some can. So far, knock on wood, we can. We've been drinking it, um, <laughs> but maybe next time we'll bring our own water to the restaurant. Yeah, we've been feeling okay so far. Like yeah. I, I personally, I've been drinking it pretty consistently for yeah. about 24 hours now, and. Just, I don't know. I haven't grown a third arm yet, so. Yeah, I think like we said in maybe yesterday's video or earlier today, I can't remember, but um, sometimes the water can have some contaminants in it after a heavy rainstorm. Mm -hmm. But um, I mean, it's been really sunny and clear, so maybe we'll just buy water when it rains. Yeah, true, true. All right, so the pizzas came, and this one is the premier. It is tomato, cheese, ham, sausage, smoked oh. ham, mushrooms, egg, sour cream, cream, and oregano. The works. <laughs> the works. And then mine is quattro stagione, I think, which is um, smoked ham, tuna, tomatoes, mushrooms, and egg. And it looks like they like, like kind of split it into Yeah. Quarters. Oh, yeah. Tomato, mushroom. Yeah, yeah. So maybe if you want to like oh, I think that's the tuna, yeah. If you want to combine, you can get, like stack one slice onto another. Yeah, slice. like a sandwich. Yeah. Looks good. I'm excited. I'm hungry. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> All right. So that dinner was really, really good. Thank you, Mom and Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Um, but yeah, we're headed home. We're pretty tired. It's been a long day. Yeah. Um. <laughs> get to the point where we're so tired, I'm like tripping over my words. Yeah, it's a lot of walking. A lot of walking. Uh, oh, there's um, a car. Let's yeah, not get hit by the car. Nope, nope. It's a bad end to the night if we got hit yeah. by a car. But. but yeah, so we're heading home to go to sleep. 
And we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. And thanks again for dinner. Much, very much appreciated. Thank you so much. Bye.